My name is Joe Yasinski, Vice President of Sales at GBI, Gold Bullion International. Thank you for coming back to our educational series. Today, we're going to walk through the several options that you have as precious metals investors, either through investing through ETFs, investing through futures, or through buying the precious metals directly on your own. Today we're going to talk about investing in the ETFs, and ETFs have never been more popular. The largest and the most popular ETFs are generally all precious metals backed. Um, the downside to investing in precious metals inside of an ETF is that you have no claim on the specific metal. Uh, there's no option for you to call your ETF service provider and say to them, I'd like to have delivery of my physical metal. The reason behind that is that you don't actually own the precious metals that are inside of an ETF. What you own is a claim on a trust that is supposed to trade and track the price movements in the physical precious metals markets, but you actually have no direct unencumbered ownership of the metal for yourselves. By very definition, when you buy precious metals inside of an ETF, you add three layers of risk that previously were not there. You add credit risk, you add counterparty risk, and you add default risk. And none of those risks exist when you buy the physical precious metal unencumbered like a company, through a company like GBI. Uh, what an ETF will give you is exposure to the price movements uh, in the short term. So generally what that makes means is that ETFs are suitable investments if you want to speculate in the price movements of precious metals over the short term, but they're no substitute for actually owning the physical unencumbered metal for by yourself. Moving on from ETFs, let's move to the futures markets. Many experienced investors often utilize futures contracts to get exposure to the price movements in precious metals. Um, the reality is, though, is that when you invest in a futures contract, many of the risks are very similar to what you experience when investing in an ETF. They give, you a, they give you a claim to the price movement in the precious metals, but they don't necessarily give you any direct unencumbered ownership in physical precious metals in and of themselves. The other issue uh, is that you still add the three risks that are usually not there when you're investing in precious metals. You're adding credit risk, counterparty, and default risk. Uh, and as recent clients of MF Global can attest to, these three risks are not considered insignificant. The other issue with investing in the futures market is the leverage. Uh, futures contracts are typically quite levered to the price of physical precious metals, meaning that your volatility and price movements can move much more violently to the upside, but also to the downside. And for this reason, investing in the futures markets is usually limited to people that are very, very experienced investors or people that have sufficient capital to withstand these massive swings. Last but not least, let's talk about the physical precious metals themselves. For a very long time, uh, physical precious metals have actually been utilized by the highest net worth and the most educated investors, simply because they wanted to avoid the three risks that we mentioned earlier in the presentation. Uh, a physical precious metal held in your name, either in your house or through a trusted counterparty, has no credit risk. It cannot default. It has no counterparty risk. Uh, and that buying the physical asset in and of itself is one of the only ways to mitigate these risks. Um, ironically though, this method of buying or getting exposure to precious metals has been avoided by the retail investor, simply because uh, pricing is sometimes um, somewhat opaque, uh, the commissions that you pay are at least somewhat higher than what you would pay by buying a futures contract or an ETF. So the individual investor winds up gravitating towards the riskier investments while avoiding the actual asset itself that they're trying to get exposure to. And this is where GBI comes in. Through utilizing our technology, through utilizing our network of bullion dealers, through utilizing our vaulting partners, our auditors, our insurers, well, our objective is through education and technology to make precious metal investing more uh, cheaper, more transparent, and much easier for you to transact. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you watching this video series. I hope it was somewhat educational for you. Again, if there's any feedback or suggestions for what we can do in future videos, we welcome your input. Thanks very much, and have a great day.